In this one we have to find the effective resistance of the circuit. So we take our power formula, P equals I times V. Um, we know the voltage, we know the power um, from the rating there, 12 volts, 5 watts is the power, and same there, 12 volts, 18 watts. But we don't know the current, um, but from Ohm's law, I equals V over R, we can substitute V over R back into this equation, I'm sure you've seen this, to get P equals V squared over R, which is V over R times V. Um, so now we know the power, we know the voltage, we can rearrange to find the resistance, R equals V squared over P. And we can do this for our two um, examples um, of 12 volts, 5 watts and 12 volts, 18 watts. So first one, <coughs> this one here, we've got R equals uh, 12 squared divided by 5, so it's 144 divided by 5, which is around about 50 watts. Um, you can work it out exactly in your own time. And then uh, the other one over here, 12 volts, 18 watts. Um, so R, sorry, this shouldn't be watts, it should be ohms. R equals uh, 12 squared again, because the same voltage, divided by 18 this time. And I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see, approximately 8, about 8. In any case, this is um, more than 3 times bigger, almost 4 times bigger. So we should be, because you're dividing on the bottom by it, it should be around about three to four times smaller, which uh, would be around about 12 to 15. Is that what I came up with before? 144, 18, that's not what I came up with. But anyway, you can plug the numbers in and calculate them yourself, and that's how you go.